Greetings, Bobby W6IW in here. I'm with Ricky Radar. Well, we're going to go do a quick soda summit on W6NS193 Sage Inn Hills. Well, there's a little bit of snow today. I forgot my main camera, so I'm going to try to do this with the action camera. The sound might not come out the best, but we're going to go for it. So let's head up to the top. Ricky, Ricky, are you ready? Do you want to go for a hike? Are you ready? Well, let's go. Let's go. All right, the goal is to make it to 77.2 elevation today. Ricky is rip roaring, ready to go. So I'm in Northern California in the Tahoe National Forest today. Uh, this soda also counts as a Poda Park uh, US 4469. I'm hoping to do a dual activation. There's a little bit of snow. We just Barely made it up the road on the trailhead today. Uh, we'll show you what we're going through. Ricky's just loving it though. Okay, we made it to the top. The views aren't spectacular from up here. There's a lot of trees, but I'll, I'll show you what I got to work with and how I'm gonna set up today. Okay, I've been to this summit in the past and I used to fling wires up in the tree and think that was a great idea when I first started soda. And it was a total nightmare here. There's this manzanita everywhere. There's a lot of stuff to just to get hung up on. I spent a lot of time deploying. So this is gonna be my first time being on this summit with a mast. What I'm gonna be using for a mast today is this Red Fox telescopic fishing pole. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested. But what it is, it's a 17 foot telescopic fishing pole. And I have many options how I can mount this thing and get it up in the air. And then for my antenna today, I'm gonna to be using the DLZ, I call it, 40 meter in fed half wave, uh, made my by my good friend, uh, Triple Goat, W7 DLZ. Derek, thank you. And then for power, I'm using the Bieno Power 4.5 amp hour battery and I'll be using my Zygu G90 doing 20 watts. Let's try to get this thing up in the tree. I didn't plan on using this camera today. Forgot my main camera and I see the battery is already low on this camera so the video might be a little short. So to mount my mast today I'm gonna actually use a tree. I'm gonna use this tree it's about three foot tall. I'm gonna show you how I do that. See it's so little it would be like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree, but it's going to be perfect to mount my mast. So you got several options how to attach this to the tree. I prefer these Titan straps. They're elastic. They're super durable. I use them at work to strap rebar to the trucks. A lot of other guys prefer these. They're like a wire twist. And both of these you can get at your Home Depot. And this you can just wrap it around and it will secure it. So you can go either way. You can use some rope or whatever. These are reusable. So I highly recommend using either one of these. Okay, so I like to run my NFEDs north to south, so that way I can work east to west. I'm in the United States, so I've already plotted out where my wire is going to go. I'm going to go ahead and extend this just a little bit so the tip's easy to reach and attach my wire to. Uh, some other operators like to extend the mast all the way, lay out their wire, and then fold it up. I've seen uh, Craig AE7i do that a deployment super quick like that. This is just the, my method of doing it. So whatever works for you. So now that I got it where I can uh, still reach and get my wire on and re raise it later, I'm just going to go ahead and take my Titan strap and uh, snug this thing close as I can to the tree and weave it into the branches here and then just strap it down. So a lot of times you can get away with just one strap. I like to use two, kind of one higher on the bottom portion and lower. That way gives it a little bit more stability. But I've used one in a pinch many times. Okay, there's two parts to my antenna. They're both on tight winder strings. There is the 40 meter in fed half wave portion with the wire and the transformer. And then on this is simply just some kite string you can pick up at, at a toy store. And what I use this for is when I get to the end of my wire, I can hook this up and extend it whatever length I need to. So I can still hook it to something and get that leg of the wire up off the ground. I see my camera is facing the sun. I hope this works out. All right, what I'm going to do is take the, the short leg with the toroid on it. I'm going to go ahead and lower it. And then part way up my wire, there is a little loop that fits over my mast. And I like to keep the short leg more vertical for the inverted L. So I'm going to do this and then run the long leg out. 
So you're gonna have to adjust that with your mass. Got this little loop that's gonna simply slide over here. Then here's my long leg. I'm gonna extend this out so it doesn't get tangled in the tree. And the wind is making this more difficult, but this is a real world soda scenario. So this is what you're gonna have to deal with. You're gonna get your wires tangled. Sometimes it's gonna be a nightmare, but it's all gonna be worth it at the end when you get that DX. All right, make sure my wires aren't twisted. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and slowly slide this up. And I like to give mine a twist. Some guys don't like to give it a twist so they can just collapse it real quick at the end. I don't like that. I like to give it a twist so it's more secure so your wire doesn't collapse while you're in the air. So you can't see it because it's on the ground, but my wire winder is unwinding while I erect this rather than I've pulled my wire all the way out. Then it will be right at the bottom of my mast here. All right, mast is all the way up. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this, extend it. I see there's a tree out here. I want to go hook it up and get this leg elevated. Let's get right to it. All right, I've reached the end of my wire. You can see, bear with me, this is very hard to shoot with just an action cam. There is the mast over there. And there's the tree I want to tie it to, but oh no, my wire doesn't reach. What am I going to do? So if you notice on the end of my wire, there is this little loop. And then on the end of my kite string, sorry, the wind's blowing, there is a fishing swivel. So I'm going to hook that to the wire and hook it to the tree. Now I'm to the tree I want to attach to. I have my kite string hooked to the end of my wire. And I just looped it around this little lock notch here a couple times. And then all I'm gonna do, rather than tie a knot, is I'm gonna go to this branch. Sorry, this is hard to do with one hand. I'm gonna wrap it around just twice because my wire's really light. And uh, that will hold it. That way when you're done, you just unwrap it and go and you don't have to deal with a bunch of knots. Right, the mast is all set up. And don't panic if your mast is flexed. That's gonna happen with these fishing poles. So I have it just like I like it. The first time I saw another guy doing that, I thought he was crazy, but these things handle it. No problem. Okay, here is the shack of the day. I got the G90. And then you can see the mast. I showed you all about that. Got a little bit of views. Band conditions aren't that great. Well, let's give it a shot. So there was a viewer that commented on one of my X6200 videos, and he was asking me how I set up my antenna if I could show them how to do that. I'll try to post your username below. It's it's not off the top of my head right now on the mountain, but I hope this helps you get your radio set up and enjoy some soda, poda, or just portable activity. CQ, CQ, parks on the air. CQ, CQ, summits on the air. This is Whiskey 6 India Whiskey November doing a dual activation. Summit to summit. Summit to summit. Uh, there was a couple. First with the Alpha Juliet Zero Lima. USL, uh, Dennis here, Southwest Missouri, you are 58, 58, good signal. Kilo 5, Juliet Zero Lima. Kilo 8, November, Echo, Echo. Kilo India 6, Delta Zulu Victor. Victor Echo 6, Tango X ray, park to park. Yeah, go ahead with the park to park, please. QCQ, summits and parks on the air. Whiskey 6 India, Whiskey November calling. CQ, CQ and listening. Alpha, Alpha 8, Victor call. Kilo Juliet 7, Victor Whiskey Zulu. Victor Alpha 7, November Delta Lima. Victor Alpha 7, November Delta Lima. I have you 5 6, Northern California. Copy the 5-6, copy 5-7, up into Vancouver, British Columbia. Zero, 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 Mike, Roman, Harley. There is a couple. First with the Kilo Delta Zero, please. Uh, this is Kilo Delta Zero, Mike, Roman, Harley, Central Colorado. Kilo Oscar 6, Alpha, Romeo, Alpha. 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 QRZ, Summits and Parks on the Air, Whiskey 6, India, Whiskey, November. Victor, Alpha, Romeo, Alpha, Romeo, Portable. Okay, there was two. First with the Victor Alpha 6. Roger, Roger. Victor Alpha 2. London, go. Whiskey 6. Kilo Juliet 7, Lima Victor Oscar. Victor Echo 7, Tango Foxtrot Oscar. Kilo Alpha 6, November Papa 
Delta. Yeah, we'll start on Sierra, Echo November. Victor Echo 7, Uniform Victor Lima. Victor Echo 7, Uniform Victor Lima, 5-8, great signal into Northern California. Oh, this poor little guy, he's getting cold. It's getting really windy out here. I don't know if you can see the trees blowing. All right, we did it. It was a successful activation. Oh, it's getting really windy and uh, chilly. I gotta get down the hill and get Ricky down the hill. But I hope this helps you get your uh, antenna set up and activating portable soda, poda, or just to have one in your to-go kit. Ricky Radar and I put a lot of effort into these videos, so if this is something you like, feel free to hit that like button. If this is something you want to see more and you're not already a subscriber, just hit that subscribe button. Feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for watching. 7-3. Hope to catch you on the next one.